So it's taken me a week to uh, do this video to share with everyone what's been going on um, on the farm for our family and the animals. We've been going through some major transitions here. Um, things we've been praying about for some time now on direction with um, <clears throat> what to do with our animals. Um, the big ones being our cows. So it's been a journey with them, an incredibly amazing, exhausting, expensive and rewarding journey that I would, I would uh, not trade for anything in this world, but um, it's been very challenging. So with that being said, um, <clears throat> we've been praying and seeking direction. You know, we've been given this land from the start, we know that it was given to us by the Lord as we prepared um, our hearts for praying for a place that would be a blessing for others. And we've given it back in such a way. And we brought cows two years ago. Um, and through that time, we've had six cows on the farm. Pretty incredible. Um, our first loss was our biggest loss with Buttercup. Um, so. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy because with dairy cows, you create these very special bonds with them. I mean, you're milking them very intimately every single day. And something about cows, it's as if they look right into your soul. So losing her was a big, big deal for us. Um, <clears throat> and all my dental expenses that I've gone through the past two years with my implants, um, with the feed bill. All this stuff has been piling up on us um, as a family and just trying to figure out what to do. And so we really felt like something had to change in order to get caught up ahead with, um, I wish <laughs> we had um, <clears throat> grassland here, a huge pasture filled with grass, but that's not the case. So with that being said, we really felt um, it was time to make a shift with our goats being pregnant, four of them, we would still be getting the, <clears throat> the raw milk. Um, so we had peace about rehoming some of our cows and um, baby Dixie. Um, now Emma has been rehomed to some family friends close by here. So when that happened, we were like, okay, that's one. Now what? <laughs> what do we do with our mama cow and we felt like it was time to actually um, let our milking cow go so first people we reached out to was them the Reapleys and so Happy Trails Farm now has Dolly and Emma and Dolly made that move over there on Saturday um, so that was the highlight of last week um, but I'm going to share with you what I haven't shared with many people was some of you know um, Cookie has been um, had been struggling with a cold <laughs> first time ever we had a vet out here because we've been able to do everything else our own but we got to the place where we were just like really nervous about it and so we called the vet over she had given us antibiotics probiotics we got and pain medicine so the next day she started eating and drinking which um, made us obviously feel so much better she was on the mend and um, <clears throat> snot had gone from her nose and so we just thought this is awesome but she never was the same she just kept keeping to herself and so after a couple weeks um, Last Monday, a week ago today, um, Jason found her out in the pasture in her favorite spot, and she's now with Buttercup in heaven. So that was a really challenging day. Um, so we, we were kept so busy with um, <clears throat> dealing with that that it took me a few days to actually deal with losing her. So we literally had, I mean, it was the worst place ever for her to, <laughs> to go. 
out in the corner of the pasture and with live um, livestock, um, large livestock. There's a truck that has to come to pick up your animals and uh, so we had to dig out a tree and cut branches and take down fencing in order for them to get to her. Um, so that was last week, Monday. And I think it really hit me on Thursday. Saturday morning, we are rehoming Dolly and with our amazing dogs that like to always get out. They hadn't gotten out for a long time now because we've secured the fencing as much as we, we can. I mean, we're always on top of it as much as we could, but they are great Pyrenees. If you're familiar with the breed, they are constantly looking for places that they've gotten out before. So in the midst of getting Dolly rehomed and trying not to let the dogs out at the same time, I even tackled Chuck Norris to keep them in and had to put up some fencing that had broken during the process of it all. And so we boogied over to the Weasley's house um, to rehome Dolly. And you're gone maybe 40 minutes or so. Come home, dogs are gone. Um, <clears throat> usually, um, it's not anything to be super concerned about. Not that we don't go after them, but the fact that when they do get out, they come back. Um, it was raining very heavily. We had to work on getting our goats enclosure built up really quickly so that they wouldn't be drenched in the rain as they moved over to the other pasture. And so we go out driving for hours. Friends joined us to, to find our dogs. Um, so thank you so much for that. And uh, so we're driving around for hours trying to find our dogs in the pouring rain. Um, and then nerves start kicking in because it's hours had gone by and our puppies be their mama and really concern me because it's unlike them to not come back and my friend said um to now she's like have you checked next door hmm. i totally in the midst of everything craziness going on and still not feeling myself from last week um with cookie and everything thought oh yeah i should check that and there they were on there but um this one neighbor who I don't even know where she lives, but she decided to take it upon her to hold the dogs and call animal control. So things got escalated pretty quickly there. Um, financially, stress-wise, we call and yeah, sure enough, your dogs are on, they've just arrived to Carlsbad, 40 minute drive in the rain, pouring rain. So. I stayed home to take care of the puppies and put something together, cook for them really quick and get them some food. Thankfully, we had some raw milk left over from Dolly, like set up in there with some goods and um, just prayed. And Jason went with the girls to go pick up our dogs. Um, they vaccinated our dogs and put chips in them because they consider them to be strays. And it's it's the law here in California unfortunately um, they do it without even asking so that um, was very concerning and heartbreaking for us as a whole as we have found that um, that's not what we wanted the vaccines are toxic we didn't want them in our dogs so that's just the way it goes um, if you don't have anything nice to say about that don't don't leave any comments because uh, this is just my point of this was the hate that we received from this woman and other people. I know never to read comments, but I did because I was concerned about my dogs and hear people go off on saying some really evil things to, to us as dog owners and, and things of such that they have no idea, um, spreading lies. So I just reported her, I didn't have time I don't, I don't waste my time on arguing with people because um, I'm too busy. I'm too busy doing what God has called us to do than to argue with people and to allow that energy into our lives. So that was very trying. Thankfully, God kept me because I was too busy taking care of the puppies than to go off on her because it was very emotional. Um, I don't think I've had a breakdown like that in a very long time. Uh, so I'm just so grateful for friends and family who came through for us in ways that 
was so unexpected. Um, I know that whatever God calls us to, he will bring us through. And sometimes we just don't know the how, um, oftentimes. And so from people showing up to help us find our dogs or showing up with envelopes of money and to help us rescue our dogs and to pay for cookies disposal and it's just incredible to see the community that God has given us so um, you know I found myself in that place of why God asking that and to try not to ask that because I know that he he intends for nothing but good for us not to give us evil things and stuff so nothing but good and he works all things for good and I just was like what is in my life <laughs> that is wrong that I need to change that I need to forgive someone that I need to get right with you why is this happening <laughs> you know like what a week and um, just an emotional stressful week um, so but in that time it was like this peace as I reached out to our friends to pray for us what rage and despair turned into peace of knowing that okay it's going to be okay <laughs> and though last week was very hard um, there was joy in there knowing that it's okay um, you know I once heard that don't be discouraged when trials arise um, but rather be encouraged because you know you're on the right track the enemy does not like it so after last week I'm just like all right let's keep trucking um, what can we do we were tempted to cancel our market um, this coming Saturday just because last week was not a good week for us here so much to do and take care of but it all got thrown out the window and so I'm just like keep pressing on that's it we're on the right track so if and when the enemy attacks God will use it for good he strengthened our relationships with our friends even more and our family that have come through for us in ways that I just can't even imagine being loved so much sometimes it's just Wow. Um, so if you want to get involved and see where we're going next on the farm here, it's with raw goat milk. Um, who knows if we will have cows later. Um, we do have one cow left, Sunshine Buttercup's baby, and we're still praying for discernment with that. Our plan was to um, process her and have food for the family as um, T-Bone's meat in our freezer has come to like not as much we thought okay we'll do that but um, who knows with the expenses of the last week we may decide to sell her um, the home or to another home so um, there are ways you can get involved here on the farm you want to come out to our market on Saturday it's from 1 to 5 and um, there will be other vendors not just myself you can book an appointment for hair um, if you wanted to get a haircut or anything I am here um, we also have farm school and you can order bread I mean there's just different ways you can support the farm um, you can support the farm by dropping us a high five and encouraging us with words or praying for us that is just huge we feel it and we know it um, that we have gotten so much support and like I said, if, if God calls you to it, he will bring you through it. So this week, um, you know, though sometimes we have some dark times, there is sunshine <laughs> the next day. And may our words be encouraging to others um, because the power of our words is so powerful. You know, I think a lot of times people forget that there's somebody else on the other side of their keyboard and they get so... Um, mean and not thoughtful on their words they assume things and just go off and that really sucks so let's not be those people instead let's flip it for something good so all right uh, we look forward to seeing you on the farm or um, just in life all right have a good day bye